Why should you use whey protein? For starters, people think there are so many different types of goals out there when it comes to fitness. The reality is there's only three actual goals. Build muscle, lose fat, improve performance. And protein is the key to making all of them happen. Let's dive in. So what about the other billion goals out there? Well, they all fit into one of the three categories and or are just nonsense where it's meant to confuse and amaze people. At the center of it all is protein. Without it, none of these goals can be reached, which is why you should use whey protein. Like I mentioned, it all comes down to one of three goals, gain muscle, lose fat, or improve performance. Starting with gaining muscle, let's talk a bit about how this happens. For gaining muscle, it's pretty simple to see how muscle is involved. It's muscle. If you want to gain muscle, you need to get more muscle mass. Simple as that. That being said, it can be a bit less clear as to how muscle is involved for those of you looking to improve performance or lose fat. Starting with losing fat, the assumption is usually that you're looking to get rid of things. So why are we talking about gaining or maintaining anything? Well, losing fat is all about being in a caloric deficit, right? The expenditure of calories has much to do with active tissue, like muscle, and how much energy it takes to maintain it. With less of it, total daily expenditure will be lower, and, as a result, being in a deficit will be harder. In a 2013 study by Chase Vaughn, it was concluded that, quote, Based on the methods used and the statistical analysis of the data collected, results of this study provide evidence suggesting that an increase in SMM can also increase BMR. Based on the results of this study, a resistance-based training workout is recommended for increasing SMM. The increase in SMM will result in an increase in BMR." End quote. Not to mention, if you're trying to maintain a caloric deficit, dealing with cravings can be a huge challenge. Hunger will cause you to want to eat more to cover the deficit, but protein can help mitigate that as it's the micronutrient that triggers the most satiety in the body when consumed. If it's performance you're looking for, the muscle you have will be doing all the work for you. So developing it, maintaining it, or training it in coordinated movements will be essential. Under all those conditions, protein will be needed, whether it's to help them grow, repair damage after you train them, or adequately feed them to maintain them over time. The right training regimen will be essential to the process of stimulating muscle growth. There's actually a really interesting study I bumped into, thanks again, Justin, where researchers found that the signal sent to initiate the increase in muscle mass actually comes from a protein called Titan, the third most abundant muscle component and a significant contributor to eccentric force. There are many protocols that help optimize the gaining of muscle, but the end result is more what we're concerned with, damage and the need to rebuild. To do this, your body will need an adequate quantity of protein to help maintain a net anabolic state where muscle can be rebuilt and you can grow. As I've mentioned in my video on how to pick a protein to buy, you'll be drinking a lot because this is a daily amount you'll need to hit. And I can almost guarantee you aren't taking it enough through your diet to meet the mark. The amount you need is about 1.2 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, which I usually just use as a one-to-one -one of protein to body weight in pounds as a recommendation, since I'd rather be at the upper ranges for reasons that will become very clear as we move through this video. This would mean for a 120 pound female, you'd need to intake approximately 120 grams of protein in a day, every day. The number of people actually hitting that number in the average population and even in the fitness population is staggeringly low and that goes tenfold for women. The reason for that is a lot easier to understand when you break it down. Taking in protein from a whole food source in your diet can be hard for a lot of people in terms of time, money, and volume. Your stomach can only handle so much food after all. This means most people don't have the money to afford the protein in that quantity, the time to cook all that protein, the time to eat consistently during the day to get all that protein in, or the space in their stomach to handle that protein from whole food sources. Realistically speaking, it's a pretty impractical concept for the vast majority of people. 
Add to that the fact that a lot of protein sources in whole foods come with other nutrients that can make it even harder to find the room in your stomach for the macros, and it becomes abundantly clear that this, for most people, isn't the answer. Enter protein powder. A protein isolate is a godsend for people in this position because it cuts out most of those problems. The protein's been isolated as much as possible from other macros, so it's lower on calories. It's been powdered and can be easily consumed in a shake of about one cup of water, so it's low volume. It's quick to mix and drink, so it takes way less time to prepare and intake. It's also about $100 for around 90 servings, making it pretty cost effective too. So, why should you use a whey protein or a vegan protein if you can't eat whey because of dietary restrictions? Because it's likely the most important key to your fitness success. Sure, you should try to make your diet as clean and nutritious as possible. I don't think anybody in their right mind would argue that. But that very often isn't enough. There will be gaps in your diet. And protein is a gap too big to simply let go. You need to address it if you hope to see yourself improve as you put in the work in the gym. And the protein powder supplementation is really helpful when trying to do that. Well, that's it for the video. Do you use a protein supplement? If so, what has it helped you with the most? Let me know in the comment section below. References will be in the description below the video, so feel free to go ahead and check them out, along with my social media links, which I'll also leave down there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified of all of our videos as soon as they drop and become a wonderful star in our little galaxy. Y'all know I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. And of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place. We all shine together. Peace.